The new school year just started, and this year a new university has opened in Shanghai. My colleague Aishin Jolobe talked with NYU Shanghai's Vice Chancellor Jeff Lehman about how the school picks its faculty and students, and the differences between education in China and the United States. Well, what did you and your fellow administrators look for in the faculty that will be teaching at NYU Shanghai? Uh, were you able to make the decisions locally, or are most faculty hired or being sent out from New York? We want faculty who are outstanding in their field, but who also believe in this effort to combine the best of China and the rest of the world into this special educational experience for our students. And we are very lucky so far. We've had a wonderful expressions of interest from faculty at NYU in New York, from faculty at other great universities in the United States and Europe. And the decision we make is made locally. We at NYU Shanghai have the responsibility of deciding who will teach here. Mm -hmm. But as with everything, we're able to make use of the resources mm -hmm. that exist at NYU in New York and NYU in Abu Dhabi. How many faculty members now you have? We probably have eight or nine uh, permanent faculty like that. At the moment? At the moment, mm -hmm. but we're growing. Uh, and then we have visitors. We probably have 90 mm -hmm. visitors mm -hmm. from NYU New York, uh, from other top universities in the United States and around the world who be with us this year. Okay. What about your students? I mean, do they have to have specific skills or qualifications to be admitted to your school uh, as opposed to other NYU campuses, I guess? Uh, what are you looking for in a Chinese student? So in a Chinese student, uh, for example, our process uh, requires all our Chinese students mm. to take the Gaokao, mm -hmm. uh, but... They have to take the Gaokao, even though they're, they're going to Even NYU, though they're coming to leaving. NYU Shanghai, um, they have to take the Gaokao because we have a double identity. Uh. We are a Chinese university, and we are also a part of the global network of New York University. Oh, and so, because we are a Chinese university, all our Chinese students have to take the Gaokao. Okay. But it's the last step in the admissions process, mm -hmm. because we needed to know that in addition to being super smart mm -hmm. uh, students who could go to the best schools in China if mm -hmm. they wanted to, mm -hmm. they also had to be ready to study in English. Mm -hmm. All our classes are in English. Oh, yeah. And they had to be ready for the U.S. style of teaching. Mm -hmm. where they are required to be active learners, take responsibility for their education. Why do you think Chinese students who want a Western education uh, go to uh, NYU Shanghai instead of studying abroad, jump on a plane, go to the United States? Well, NYU Shanghai gives them the best of both worlds in the mm -hmm. sense that they, as part of their education at NYU Shanghai, mm -hmm. they will jump on a plane. They will live overseas. Mm -hmm. They will spend between one and three semesters, it's up to them, in New York, or elsewhere in the NYU network. It could be Paris, it could be London, it could be in another great city of the world. Mm -hmm. So that will be a part of their experience. Mm -hmm. At the same time, while they are with us in Shanghai, they are going to be in the kind of environment that is very, very difficult to find in the United States, mm -hmm. where every day we are talking about cultural difference mm -hmm. and about how it is that different cultures see the world. Mm -hmm. So. Our Chinese students, every one of them will have a foreign roommate, mm -hmm. uh, and so they will have that same experience that they could have mm -hmm. uh, living overseas. Right. Actually, if they live overseas, they won't be required to have a foreign roommate. Sometimes we see Chinese students room with Chinese students. Okay. We are much more selective than the, than the main campus in New York. We're so small. Uh, in New York, there are 50,000 students, mm -hmm. and so they accept a broader pool. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not as selective uh, as NYU Shanghai. Mm -hmm. How much do they have to pay to go to NYU uh, Shanghai? Is it the same for Chinese students and foreign students? Well, the, the tuition figure is the same, mm -hmm. um, and it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, we have scholarship assistance mm -hmm. for the different students, okay. and so the 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 tuition figure is 45 it's the same as at New, NYU New York $45,000 $45,000 per year okay uh, each year and and uh, so that's about 270,000 RMB mm. um, a little more maybe 300,000 RMB mm -hmm. the uh, every Chinese student mm -hmm. gets a scholarship 
that will bring that number down to 100,000 RMB. Mm. This isn't your first academic job in China. Uh, you set up Peking University's transnational law school in Shenzhen, so you know how the Chinese academic ways uh, work. Then in your view, what do you see as the main difference between Chinese and American style of teaching, and how could you incorporate from the Chinese uh, style of teaching methods? Sure. Well, I mean, I think you know one of the things that's always important to keep in mind is just how quickly Chinese higher education has been transformed mm. in the last 30 years. I mean, really, it was being rebuilt from almost nothing mm. in 1978 to this incredible place right now where more than one out of every four high school graduates in China has the chance to get a real university education. Mm -hmm. The best professors in China are brilliant lecturers, mm. and that talent is a gift, mm -hmm. and it's important that we have that talent expressed in our faculty as mm. well. We want teachers who can deliver new insights to the students. Mm. The best of uh, international education, American higher education, is that in addition to that, it requires the students to practice, mm. experiment, mm. take risks, offer their own ideas, and then have them analyzed, participate in an intellectual conversation where their new ideas are evaluated and tested. And they're encouraged to do that. And they're encouraged to make mistakes.